Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you after a very good, solid sleep. 05 November. I think we were up for about 40 hours there uh, over the election period. I wouldn't say it was a waste of time, but I didn't... Um, there wasn't a tsunami of profits or anything, but made some money. That's uh, we'll take it, I guess. Old school, um, staying up for something like that for an event like that. Here's the dollar max chart, which kind of sums it up. This bar with the huge tail here, obviously, is the election bar. Uh, went from 2090 all the way up to 22, back down to 2090. Um, and here we are back at uh, 2090. Uh, this looks like she wants to go left now. Biden's at 264. Nobody really knows what the fuck's going on in Pennsylvania or Arizona or North Carolina. There's counting. Votes are close. For those of you who have run a marathon before, or for those of you who've had a really, really long ski day, so you have a long ski day, maybe you're you're on the Rondine skis, you've been out sort of eight hours, it's always the last half hour, or the last four miles in the marathon, or the last half hour of the ski day, which is the most dangerous and the hardest to finish. I feel like this is exactly where we are right now. Biden's got, he needs six more electoral votes. He's not quite yet there yet. Um, feels kind of spooky just because it's 2020. Um, I don't know, but let's see if we can get him over the line. Uh, or let's see if uh, Trumpy comes storming back uh, and picks up 56 quickies. See who gets to 270 first. Looks like Biden, um, but it's not over till it's over. So let's just keep an eye on that space. I think once Biden is, if and once Biden is confirmed, this dollar max is going to go. The big point is uh, 2083. And then once we're down through that, you can see there's loads of fr fresh air. Same chart, uh, dollars are. Um, down to the figure, up to 42, that's 3% higher, back down, closed at 84, now we're at 91. You'll see, you'll find resistance in this up towards 16 double O. Um, and again, this one has confirmed, that's a very bearish candle with the closed at the lows, uh, but we need to wait and see, like if Trumpy, um, pulls this out of his ass, um, then this will shoot higher. Uh, but if Biden wins, we, f we favor a conti continued uh, downside uh, for dollar EM. Dollar Turkey, uh, the same actually, two big tails here. Um, we're calling a turn in dollar Turkey. We tried to trade it the other day, we sold 48s. <clears throat> we cut at 51, uh, which looks pretty stupid now, but Whatever, we're not like uh, heroic dollar turkey traders. Um, but you can see this trend line's broken, even though it's steep, it touches the death knock. Down through 36 uh, looks kind of interesting. So keep an eye on uh, dollar turkey as well, um, especially if, uh, if Biden wins. Other charts out there of interest, dollar yen. Uh, we talked about it yesterday. It just felt like this was the dollar that was going to be the safest to sell with the least hysterical vol, uh, and it was, right? So um, down through 75 was pretty clean. Then we resold again down through 38, so we hit 36s. Um, we've been playing around on the short side. Uh, we remain core short, waiting to see what happens uh, at 104, the figure. Obviously, the Fed is tonight. This would be sort of an um, ideal scenario if we get some sort of dovish Fed action. Bang, dollar yen uh, shits the bed. Uh, who's going to clean that mess? I don't know. Don't care. Uh, 
watching 104 the figure BOE today in an hour's time different time this also is interesting this 128.50 level is interesting um, if they're dovish if they say something dovish or add more QE I don't know how, how you can get any more dovish I don't know these central banks are kind of screwed are kind of cornered um, but 128.50 is an interesting point I know it's 120 points away but let's just keep an eye on that the next couple days um, heading into non-farms as well let's look at gold for a second holding up incredibly well we had that one little rampage down to 1881 this is holding up well might be some fresh air now above 1920 um, this is a line that uh, people will have drawn keep an eye on gold especially if Biden wins this sort of dollar sale theme uh, probably continues anyway uh, gold topside looks looks decent what else Aussie yen this thing is like a canker sore right yeah you had the feeling Aussie N was going to um, come back. You had that big blue wave trade, the City Tech guys. It worked out pretty well for them, to be fair. Um, kind of closed where it opened. And now we're just sort of um, treading water here. If equities turn, Aussie Yen goes back lower. If dollar yen um, gets smoked today, this will drag Aussie Yen lower. Uh, so keep an eye on this. We we're working on a tiny little short. We've been trading it on the on the short side. Um, but we like this to turn. Uh, Aussie Aussie yen, CAD yen. You can imagine it's the same chart, slightly different um, different view on this. Not super bearish CAD yen, moderately bearish just because of the yen side. We have no idea what's going to happen with dollar CAD, so it's a slightly different different outlook on that. What else is out there? Dollar yen, we talked about dollar Swiss, we don't care about sterling. Let's look at euro sterling. If these guys muddy the water up today, um, What's been the high today? 64. The high the other day was 59. I mean, it looks like she's turning. This is a bullish engulfing yesterday. We shot higher today. I don't know. We're gonna um, we're gonna hit the cable bit if they're if they're dovish. But um, Euro sterling looks like it's turned as well. Finally, let's look at ES uh, up to 80 last night. It's a big day, right? 100 points up, 100 points down, 150 points up. Um, I feel like we're gonna have, we're gonna run into some trouble here. We we talked on Twitter at the end of the night yesterday that it was a bridge too far between 75 and 80. Uh, I feel like there's a pretty good chance we're gonna have some um, sideways action up here. Now from 32.40 to 34.80, we've come a fair fair way now, 250, almost 10% in four days. So um, time for a little sideways action and some decision making. I liked selling between sort of 75 and 3,500. Uh, you got to keep it light. You got to keep it flexible because uh, vol is obviously pretty high if it goes a hundred handles three times in one day the day before you can expect vol to not be that high but also just be high enough and also be open-minded right like this could go a hundred handles this could go to 3580 and it could go to 3380 um, sounds hysterical now but I mean Yesterday, it went 100 handles three different times. So, um, you know, just trade what the market's giving you. And the market's giving you loads of all on S&P right now. So you have to adjust position size and everything. Finally, let's go to ZB. Uh, cut yesterday. 
painful. Um, but what are you going to do? You know that uh, you can't can't fight that bar, right? At one point we were looking great, big profits. Basically gave it all back. Um, ended up flat on the day in ZB, which was just like a massive ball kick. Continuing higher here. I do question this now. We've now gone 500 points or five handles um, in between this 81 and 70 range. You know, this will be the 50%. This will be the 61.8%. I don't think this is going to charge back up to the highs. Um, but we do have the Fed tonight, so we'll see what they say. We do like steepening. Uh, we we will look to reinstate shorts, just not sure where or when on the tactical book. But when you see a bar like that, you got to cut, right? Through a trend line, bullish engulfing on a big news day. You know, marry nothing, right? No matter how much you love a position, marry nothing. Anyway, I've said enough now. Um... Obviously, BOE, FOMC today, watching this dollar yen, watching this dollar max. Uh, sterling pairs might get lively. So we're kind of watching that with less with less vigor because it is sterling and it's that makes it just harder. Um, I wish you all a good trading day. Let's keep an eye on these results from these states. Let's see if Billy Boy Biden or Tommy Boy Trump um, wins. <laughs> Uh, that's all I got for you today. Have a good one. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao. <laughs>